Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I didn't make any video. This afternoon, I found this interesting problem. So we are looking for, to find the area, the shaded area. The area of the shaded region, okay? So how do we get this region? So first, we have a square of length 10 okay and then we have two semicircle this one and that one both of radius 5 okay and then we have one more circle which has radius 10 which goes this way okay so this one is the area bounded by this circle, that circle, and that circle. Okay. Okay. So that is our objective. And then the challenge is to solve this problem without calculus. So in math stacks, math stacks exchange, which was the place where I found this problem, it was solved by using calculus. So in this video, we will try to solve it by using elementary tools okay so we are looking for the area of that region let's call that area as area one okay and then this one we call it as region two and this one is region three okay and this is this picture is just a copy of that picture now notice that this Region 3 is exactly region 2 plus region 1, right? So if we want to find the region 1, it is enough to find the area of region 2 and the area of region 3. So let's write over here. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay. Now let's compute the area of region 3 okay so first let's indicate this angle as alpha and we know the length of this is 10 and that is 5 okay now since this triangle is a right triangle then by Pythagorean we know the length of that so the square of this is 100 plus 25 so this is square root of 125 so what is that one square root of 125 is 5 square root of 5 okay so since this is 5 times square root of 5 we know that if we consider this as the base that is the height right so Another way we can consider this as the base and that is the height. So this times that is equal to this times that. So in order 5 times 10 which is 50 equals to 5 square root of 5 times this. So that the length of this must be what? Must be 2 square root of 5. Okay. Now again by using Pythagorean since this is a right triangle, we can find that this is in fact 4 square root of 5, so therefore this guy is square root of 5. Because we, we knew that it was the length of the diagonal is 5 square root of 5. Okay? So now we are ready to compute the area of region 3. So we will do it by first computing this so let's call this guy as A okay so what is the area of A so A to compute A we first compute the sector that made an angle alpha to the center angle right so this is a sector with center angle alpha right so then the area of the sector, so the proportion is alpha over 2 pi times the area of 
this circle. This is circle of radius 10, so the area is pi times 10 squared, which is 100 pi. Okay. That is the area of the square of center angle alpha. Then we need to subtract the area of this triangle. This is a triangle of base 4 square root of 5 and then height 2 square root of 5. Okay, so if we simplify, let me use this one. It's going to be, we cancel the pi, it's going to be 50 alpha minus 20. Okay, so that's the region A. Okay, now let's do it to compute the area of region B here. Okay, how do we get the area of region B? Okay, this region B is nothing but the sector with central angle, this one, so this sector minus this triangle. Okay, so B, so first of all, what is, what is the measure of this angle? So this is a right triangle and that is alpha, so this must be pi over 2 minus alpha, right? Okay, so then the area of this sector is, the proportion is this angle to 2 pi times the area of the circle of radius pi, 25 pi, okay, minus the area of this triangle, which is a triangle of base 2 square root of 5 and height square root of 5. Okay, so if we simplify, we can cancel the pi, it's going to be 25 over 2, pi over 2 minus alpha, the 2 cancel, it's minus 5, okay? So this A plus B is exactly half of the area of region 3, so therefore, the area of region 3 is twice of A plus B, alright? So what is A? Twice of 50 alpha minus 20 and B is, let me distribute this, so 25 pi over 4 minus 25 over 2 alpha minus 5, okay? So this 50 alpha minus 25 over 2 is going to be 75 over 2 alpha times 2, that's 75 alpha, and this is negative 25, which is minus 50, and then we have this multiplied by 2, which is 25 pi over 2, okay? So that is the area of region 3, so we will keep this one, okay? So let's look at back again, we are, we need to compute this area, and then we compute that area. The, the, the area that we wanted is exactly this minus that. Okay? We just calculated the area of this region. Okay? Now we need to compute the area of that region. Okay? So let's put it here. Okay, so let's skip that calculation. So remember, we call this as region 2, okay? Notice that to find the region 2, first we can compute this first. Let's call that guy as C, okay? So how do we get the area of C? C is equal to a quarter of this circle, this is a circle of radius pi, so a quarter of 25 pi minus the area of that triangle. This is triangle of base 5 and 
height 5 so times 25 okay that is C but 2 is twice of C twice of C so which is equal to 25 pi or 2 minus 25 okay so now we have the area of region 3 which is this one and the area of region 2 okay okay remember what we are looking for is the area of region 1 so we have 1 is equal to let's look at the picture 1 is equal to 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and 3 is over here 75 alpha minus 50 plus 25 pi over 2 okay minus 25 pi over 2 minus 25 okay so therefore we have 75 alpha this cancel 25 pi over 2 and this one negative 50 plus 25 which is negative 25 and then how about alpha do we know the value of alpha we do but uh, we express alpha in terms of arc tangent so notice this notice that this alpha uh, the length in front of alpha is 5 and this one is 10 so we know that tangent alpha is 5 over 10 which is 1 half right so let's write here tangent of alpha is equal to 1 half so therefore alpha is arctan of 1 half so therefore the final answer can be written as 75 arctan one half minus 25 so that is our final answer okay thank you very much for watching see you again in the next time bye bye